Good day. Let's take a second to imagine a time where there is no biocompatible metal that is also lightweight and can be used to, for example, replace joints or fix the root canal in our teeth. Now, let's shake off that dreadful image. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andile Mazibugo, and I'll be presenting a poster titled Simulation of Lithium Chloride as a Salt Medium, a Rigid Ion and Shell Model Comparison. Titanium is among the strongest and most durable metals on the planet, which is why it is used in so many industrial applications, such as in the aerospace, the medical, as well as automotive industries. However, the production of titanium is low and expensive due to the processes used in its production. Now, these processes occur in the presence of alkali and alkali earth metals. In this study, we'll be using a computational modeling approach to try and understand how we can maximize titanium production using an alternative salt medium, lithium chloride, and we will further cross grain with a shell model. Now, we employ two popular molecular dynamics codes. The General Utility Lattice Program, also known as the GAL code, for developing and validating the lithium chloride structure using a combination of Buckingham potentials from the cathode diaper potentials. Now, this code focuses on analytical solutions through the use of lattice dynamics where possible rather than molecular dynamics. We also employed the Diopole code to investigate the temperature dependence of the salt medium using a core count of 48 and 24 hour roll time on a normal queue at the CHPC. Now this code can be used in understanding the structure, stability, as well as reactivity of materials at the atomic level and very good at simulating large systems. Now we first modeled the rigid iron model of lithium chloride and the results show that there is a clustering of lithium atoms to one region as shown in figure one. This was further corroborated by the radar distribution functions in figure 2, where we observed in figure 2a that there was a rapid decrease in the peak height to a G of R of around 0.42 at longer distances of R. Now, this is due to the net interacting forces between lithium atoms becoming slightly attractive because of the constant contribution of the Van der Waals forces. Now, these observations prompted us to model the shell model of the salt so as to model the effects of polarization of an ion compound, lithium chloride, while the rigid ion treats ions as point charges and overlooks short-range interactions. Now, we observed that there was no clustering of lithium atoms or chlorine atoms, as shown in figure 3. This was also further corroborated by the radar dispersion functions in figure 4, where we observed a decrease in peak height as temperatures increased which is indicative of the random distribution of atoms. Now, we further went on to investigate our thermodynamic properties, particularly the entropy as shown in figure 5 and Gibbs free energy as shown in figure 6. Now, the entropy of the models was calculated to determine the increase in disorder of atoms, which is associated with a phase transition of a structure from one state to another, for example, solid to a liquid. And this was observed to be between 500 kelvins to 950 kelvins for the rigid ion model and between 540 and 750 kelvins and 950 kelvins to 1000 kelvins for the shell model. Now, the Gibbs free energy showed that the shell model is stable or favorable at all temperatures due to the negative values as observed in figure 6 where there is a red line indicating the shell model. Now, in conclusion, the findings suggest that lithium chloride might be a potential medium for evaluating the growth and evolution of titanium clusters for titanium production purposes, particularly the shell model of lithium chloride, as it has shown to be favorable, indicating that reactions in this medium are spontaneous and an exothermic behavior is shown in line with the reactions in the commercial production of titanium, which is the, the crop process. Now, I would like to acknowledge the following institutions and funders, the CHPC, CSIR, NRF, and TCOC. And lastly, thank you.